welcome back to my channel or if you're new my name is Lauren and today I'm recreating this bronzy look here and if you want to see how I created it then just keep on watching and I'll get right into it all right guys this eye is already done and now we're gonna go on to this eye it is already primed and ready so I'm using the California Love Palette by ColourPop and I'm first going to go into this shade right here called Sequoia and that is going to go in my crease and I'm gonna take it kind of far up and I'm taking this all the way around and out a little bit Also, the brush I'm using is a Moda Pro BMX 430 crease brush, and this is what it looks like. Next, I'm going to go into, I'm going to go with a Sephora airbrush crease brush, this brush here. And I am going to take this color and this color called the Bay and this color called Highway 1. And I'm gonna kind of mix those together and kind of go under that yellow shade. Oh wait, I'm not taking Highway 1. I'm taking Gold Rush. Goodness gracious. And then going back into Sequoia just to blend that out a little bit. Blend these two colors together. Now with this little brush here, I got this from inside a Dose of Colors palette. I'm going to, now I'm going to go into a Highway 1. And this is going to go on my inner and outer corners and like, I'm going to line the crease with it. Now I'm going to wipe this brush off and take more of that gold rush shade and use that to blend out this edge. And then once again on this big fluffy brush, I'm taking Sequoia and just going over that one more time. Now I'm going to be cutting my crease in the middle, like on this side. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just using this flat brush here. Don't be afraid to go a little bit higher than your natural crease just so that it'll show up better when your eyes are open. And then once I have it like this, I'm just going to take my finger and use it to help blend out this edge a little bit. Now I'm going to take this flat brush here. This is a concealer brush by, I don't know how to say that, Bogachis. I, don't, I really don't know how to say that. But I'm going into Sequoia and I'm going to go over the top part of this cut crease. And I'm probably going to bring it down about halfway. And we're really layering the shade on so that it stands out. And 
And now going back with this Dose of Colors brush, I'm going to go into Gold Rush and blend under that Sequoia shade because we are creating a gradient going down. And then you can keep going back and forth between the two shades until you have a good gradient that you like. And at the bottom, I'm going to add some Highway 1. And I'm going to add more Highway 1 on the inner and outer corners as well. And I'm going to wipe this off again and go back into Gold Rush and just blend out these edges. And now with the under uh, blah, with the other end of this brush, I'm going into Highway 1. Just a little tad bit of that to go along this edge to define it better. And now this part is optional. I know not everybody likes to use glitter, but I'm going to use the glitter called El Capitan. El Capitan, El Capitan. I don't know, but I'm taking this little brush here and it is going on the inner and outer corners. Just right over that dark brown shade. If you are doing this look, I would definitely suggest in your eyes before your face because now I have a lot of glitter everywhere. But I will do my face with you guys because I don't usually. Um, I'm going to use this. It looks pretty nasty. So just ignore that. This No Pore Bloom Prime Essence by Touch and Soul for my primer. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Matte and Poreless. And this is in the shade 120. I like to just dump it out like on my finger. And then dot it on my face. Then I use this Tarte foundation brush to blend it all out. I'm using this Koki Professional Be Bright Concealer. Uh, I don't know which one this is in. I have the number taken off. I'm running out of this, I need more. I have a lighter shade of this, but it's just like a little bit too light and my Tarte concealer is a little bit light for me right now, but it'll be fine once it gets winter time and I lose my tan. I don't wanna lose my tan. Love having a tan. Now before I do my um, before I do my powder, I'm gonna add this icon iconic London Illuminator. Illuminator. This is just liquid highlighter, and you like don't even have to squeeze it out on your face. You just dot it, and then like that's plenty. So 
So now for powder, I got this in an Ipsy bag. This is Flawless Finish Dual Powder in the shade C4 Flawless Ivory by Manicadar Beauty. And I like it pretty well, actually. This is the first time I've ever tried this kind, and I've never tried this brand before, before this. So I'm just using my Sephora Airbrush Powder Brush. And then for bronzer, I'm just using the Hoola Bronzer. And this brush by Complex Culture, the Press and Set Bronzer Brush. For highlighter, I'm going to go into the the Balm Auto Balm Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go blush. And I'm going to take these first two shades right here and just kind of mix them together. And I'm using the Firma 102 brush. Maybe just like a tad bit on the nose. And now for more highlighter, I'm going to go into the Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter in Prosecco, please. Prosecco, I don't know, Prosecco, please. This is how it looks like. And I just take it on my finger because you couldn't really use this with a brush because of the texture. But then I just put it here on my cheekbones. And on the tip of my nose. And now for the lower lash line. Uh, I'm really just gonna use the colors we used in the crease. I'm not gonna do any glitter or anything. I'm just gonna take like Sequoia like that. And then Gold Rush, just add a little bit of Gold Rush. And then add a tiny bit of Highway 1. And I'm going to finish off the other eye. I'm going to add on some mascara and lashes and then I'll be right back with the final look. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed watching. I used my MAC Satin Lipstick in the shade Cherish and my Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Lashes in Samantha Number no. 7 Classic. Also, to my lower lash line, I added this Kylie Dark Bronze Eyeliner. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!